Bananas asked Ed why he was so determined to make sure Logan didn't go into elimination. Ed made an honorable but crucial mistake in episode 11 of the challenge Spies, Lies and Allies and that sent him home. Hello Couch Potatoes, welcome to today's video. Following episode 11 of Spies, Lies and Allies, Banana spoke with the challenge rookie Ed Yerson. Ed arrived at the end of the first episode as a replacement for Nam and made a name for himself with his crazy, goofy personality. He also won a daily challenge with Tori and an elimination with fellow rookie Emmy. In episode 11, Ed made an honorable but crucial mistake when he suggested the agency should spare an injured Logan from elimination and consider voting him instead. Bananas asked why he was so determined to make sure Logan didn't go into elimination. Ed responded and said, I don't know. I was just like team good guy, like yeah. through and through. Like there, I, I guess because I just really didn't know what the hell I was doing. So my whole strategy was like, let me just play with like so much honor that like, yeah. Yeah. These people are going to like feel bad if I go or something. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to step up. I'm going to take the bullet. People are going to be like, well, Ed, you're such a badass. Bananas told Ed many times an injury is what gets a competitor thrown into elimination because castmates smell blood in the water. That move ended up sending Ed into elimination where he'd later get to choose an opponent from the non-safe teams. He chose Kyle and then TJ revealed that He'd be competing in a pole wrestle. That happened to be an event Carl has excelled at during his challenge career. Carl ended up defeating the rookie 2-0 to send him home for the season. The honorable move possibly won Ed some points with fans and Logan if they're together on another season. But also prevented him from possibly winning that million dollars. Ed admitted he it was his first season and he didn't really know what he was doing, but now he knows better. Banana said that being the nice guy might make for some great TV, but it will do nothing to get Ed far in the game. Unfortunately, this is not how the show is played. You can't, okay? Yeah. They make it, they make it impossible. They make it absolutely impossible for you to play this game without eventually having to stab someone in the back, okay? The seven-time champion said so many cast members have come on criticizing him for doing that. And then a few seasons later, they doing the same thing. Um, and I see it every season where people come in, rookies come in, they see the way that, that, that I've played or like the things that I've done in the past. Like, oh my God, how could you? And then two seasons later, they're doing the exact same thing and making the exact same moves that I did. And I'm like, see, it's not it's not a matter of if, it's when. Yeah, and I'm sure it just comes with time. And like you does. said, like, I feel like for my first season, I did what I thought yep. was like right, what I had to do. But like, now I know how it goes. And if I were to do it again, oh my gosh, the, the changes I would make, yeah. Listen, you need to play the game with heart you can't play with your heart. Based on his first season of the challenge, Ed Eason appears to be a smart and strong competitor capable of advancing far into the game. Should he return and follow Banana's essential advice? He could find himself competing to win a final early in his career with the show. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hey, Couch Potato. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.